Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna make pretty exciting mod. This is probably one of the most expensive I made because of the price of this dial. So if you know, you know, this is Seiko Dracula Monster and it's pretty rare. There was only one dial on uh, eBay. Yeah, there was, there is no more. Yeah, and today I'm gonna make uh, very 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 similar to the original one um, yeah let's let's start for this mod I'll be using him dollar as a base in my opinion this is the best quality monster homage available over there for the good price so I already opened the case and age 36 movement very very nice watch but we're gonna make it nicer okay so that's how you remove the crown again first you open it don't pull it yet then you have to place a small pin on this point this way pressing holding and removing the crown at the same time very very easy it should it should come out very easy so if you cannot remove the crown then probably don't pull it yet maybe you didn't press hard enough yeah um, I'm pretty excited to see how this mode turns out I will show you I'll show you the original one later and you can compare with the result I maybe reuse will reuse this dial later, so I have to make sure I don't scratch it. Yeah, the second hand was sitting really, really tight and you can see it just jumped somewhere, but I'm lucky not too far, it's all here. And also him dollar hands are very, very good quality. The loom is super bright, so I'm gonna keep this for later as well. Now let's remove the dial. And the new dial looks really, really good. Okay. The fit position matches here perfectly for 3.8 o'clock, as you can see. Yep. Very, very good. It doesn't sit really tight though so you have to be if you're gonna modify this exactly this dial then you have to be careful because it's easy to remove it okay maybe not so easy good now let's go 24 hours until midnight done that's when we're gonna place the first our hand okay so I have here actually two sets of hands because uh, the customer Philip he wanted to have original look so we're gonna use this red white hour and minute plus black red seconds hand okay so the first time don't press it too hard let's just check but if you don't care much about the date window about the date uh, change alignment then you don't have to care much I just like to make it as precise as possible like this one now yeah you can see that the color of the loom is a little bit different the dial colors more greenish but the hands are white purely white and also the loom is not very strong but these hands are the best i could find 
with the original look. It's not easy to check the alignment from the side, but try, try anyway. Because this part is important. Okay, the next minute hand I'm gonna place when the hour hand is on 9. supposed to be more precise than the previous one okay let's check the alignment quickly perfect It's not easy to check the alignment from the side because of this chapter ring, but just yeah, try your best. Okay, and the last hand. I really hope that it's gonna be easy. I'm not sure because relatively these hands are cheap and usually Cheap hands are not easy to set. <laughs> We're gonna see if it's true now. Yep, it's true. <laughs> it's not easy to set these hands. I'm gonna move it away from the camera and that way I can see better. Yeah, here we go. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Just needed to look a bit closer. And you can see the alignment here is perfect. But anyway, you need to check the alignment again from 4 position, 12, 3, 6 and 9 to make sure that hands don't touch each other. And here perfect as well. Usually if 3 out of 4 positions look good, then the last one is the same. Like in this case, absolutely perfect. Yep, so almost done. Now I'm gonna clean it all and put it back in the case. That was my technique, I press on that point I showed you earlier, under the movement and pull the crown out. Takes a bit of practice, but later it's very easy to do and really fast. Looks beautiful. Press the movement in from both sides because sometimes you can flip the movement and you really don't want to do that. Before closing the case, make sure there is absolutely nothing under the glass. It's easier to remove it now than later when you have to open the case one more time. In my case, it's very clean. There is nothing I need to worry about. Yep, absolutely perfect. Yeah, so right now I'm gonna adjust the balance wheel, put it all together and show you final result. And here is the final look. As you can notice, there is black day and date 
wheel. I messed up, I forgot that it has to be changed, so I had to disassemble the watch one more time. But it looks much, much better with the black one. So, here you get the Seiko Dracula limited version, but with the Heimdallar base, which is also great quality, great bracelet, the same movement, the same glass, the same dial. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.